So November number, right? Do five on lima alpha. Notice it says it invalidates that, right? Well, you have to check here because it's a registration. You're using a registration as a call sign. Scheduled flight. Well, it's non-scheduled, so we can go non-scheduled. Type of aircraft. Let's do let's do beach night beach 1900. Already puts in the wake turbulence category. The only required equipment on Poscon is Y, which is a VHF 8.33 transmitter, right? Because you have to have voice. Surveillance. So, I mean, truthfully, I don't really have to fill in any of this stuff. Like, I mean, do I, should I? Yeah. I mean, I should, but do I really have to? No. So, I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, surveillance equipment. Mode S. That's pretty much a given on POSCON. You're going to have a Mode S transmitter for the most part because it has ADSB uh, or it has Mode S, ACID, and altitude. Departure aerodrome. We're going from Kennedy to JFK. The time is set up for right now. If I wanted to adjust that to like a later time, I could do that. But right now, this is going to make sure it goes. Right now, it's going to make sure it goes to the air traffic control system automatically. Um, if I adjusted it by an hour, it's going to give me a warning and say, hey, this is not going to go to the air traffic control system. You're going to have to wait within 35 minutes prior to departure or make an adjustment to the schedule departure time for it to be shipped to the air traffic control system. But if I leave the time, it defaults to within the 35 minute requirement. So this airplane, this flight plan will go directly to air traffic control system and cruise altitude. So the cruise speeds has to be in uh, true airspeed. So N0278, I know that's the Beach 1900 true airspeed typically. But if I wanted to do Mach number, I could also do that. I could also do kilometers. Uh, so it's K for kilometers, N for true airspeed. You got to put a zero in front of it. All right. Altitude level. Altitude, zero, five, zero. That's 5,000 feet. I think it accepts meters too. Mm. Oh, it's, it's four. Sorry, four. So I think that's 5,000 meters. And But I'm going to do flight level. So F210. Merit. Roebuck 3, destination Boston. The time is automatically filled in for me, although I can adjust that. Uh, the registration is not necessary because the registration is stated here. Well, let's actually do an airline call sign. 2312, let's say America 2312. Let's actually adjust this Airbus 319 to be a little bit more realistic. Guess what? Now it requires a registration. So I'm going to do it's November 1. Six Niner Uniform Whiskey. That's the registration of the aircraft I'm currently operating, so that validates there. And then uh, all I need to do is make sure the endurance is higher than the EET because you can't fly without any fuel. So three hours of fuel is greater than the EET. Non water, this is actually not even required, but this is, tells you the safety equipment. And then I could just file the flight plan. You get the warning, but it still files. And then it just printed for me as the controller, and there it is.